Hi and welcome back to my playthrough of Renegade by Richard Wilkins aka Ricky Royal. Keep in mind this game is currently on Kickstarter and yes you will find a link to the campaign in the description of this video so definitely check it out and grab yourself a copy. Apart from that I think I was kind of doing okay at least I was not able to find any major goofs in respect to my gameplay. I may have played things a little bit differently but overall things look to be okay. We are at the start of our second cycle and this is our goal, a silver goal, access shutdown. Goal have at least one virus on each Renegade's access point. In this case, that's only partition number six on salvation up there because I'm playing alone. But of course, there is always a little caveat and this is the shutdown protocol. During your end of turn step, you must remove one virus from the network. If there are none to remove, then add two sparks to your access point instead. Wow, that's definitely a bummer. And now I already regret having transformed this contaminant to a replicant because it was a virus and due to one of my little command cards, I was able to flip it. Of course, I still have that command card with me, so I should be able to flip it back to the other side sometime during this round. Okay, there is still one last thing that we have to do, and that's to refill the hack shack with four entirely new cards. Dancing pick, adrenaline, search override interrupt okay this can be helpful and a data shift Though that's a pretty cool one because I get two movement commands for the cost of only one okay next we have to roll for new sparks and as we are now at the silver stage so the second countermeasure card we have to roll that spark die twice so things start to look a little bit nasty that's green and green is freedom keep in mind because of spider we are not rolling that partition die here we'll always place the spark to the lowest and weakest partition but we are not done yet we have to roll the die one more time and that's my home server salvation and yeah we have to put the spark onto the lowest and weakest partition in this case that's partition number two as i really need viruses like crazy is doing this cycle I think I will do something relatively odd. I want to get this card here the override interrupt so therefore I will pay one card here so I will exchange it one by one but I'm allowed to overcommit, so I can also get rid of this card here for example and keep in mind I'm always exchanging one versus one in this case I get to choose which card to trash from my hand and I don't really need those green cards I think at least uh, I don't need those so I will discard this card and yeah this will be because it is used so I will get rid of it but I will allow it to take this card right onto my hand and this can potentially help me later on. Huh I still have to bring one virus to my home partition or my access point. The problem is at the end of the round I will lose one of my viruses. Right now that's still okay I have one virus with me but I don't have any movement commands whatsoever. So I think in this case I want to upload another virus for now. So I will play one, two, three commands here and this is really expensive and but that's definitely enough to upload another virus to my partition. Keep in mind I can only do the upload actions when there are no sparks or guardians or firewalls available. So right now that's perfectly okay. I have only one more card left and this is this and I think I will call it a day. I cannot really use it at this point in time. So let's draw five more cards. Now I get a free movement command. That's good. Three, four and five. Okay, that's definitely not too bad. And then we come to the end of turn step. Good thing is spider won't trigger because none of our contaminants are currently yeah, surrounded by sparks. But the shutdown protocol tells me during your end of turn step you must remove one virus from the network and luckily we have more than one. So let's remove this virus here for now. And that's already the end of turn step. And yeah, then we go into the second round of the second cycle. So we will draw another card for the hack shack read request intercept. That's a cool one because we get a leadership and leadership is always great. That's for sure. But of course, we must not forget the spark step. So we have to roll the sparks die twice. 
that's freedom again. Let's roll it a second time. And again, it goes to salvation. Huh, okay, wow, that's definitely something I have to do about it. Right now, I think we are still doing okay. This is kind of endangered, but right now we don't have a spark here. But if we leave this spark on this partition, we would lose our upload or data node contaminant here at the end of the cycle. Not during the round, but definitely at the end of the cycle. And this time we really do have some great cards in the hack shack here. So first of all, I will go for the read request intercept. Again, it will give me one leadership and this allows me to pretty much optimize my hand. So I can take this card and up to two other cards and put it to the bottom of my draw deck and then draw the same amount of cards back to my hand. So if I'm totally screwed in cycle three or so, this can really, really help me to optimize my hand. So I will totally go for this card here. So those are the two I need to spend. So let's trash this one. This here is also great, the data shift. So I will pay this one here in order to get two movement commands. But this execute effect is awesome to instead move up to three contaminants from any adjacent partition or partitions to yours. So that's really, really awesome. This can also help me really a big, big deal. Okay, now it's getting tricky, but I think I have a plan. So first of all, I want to move. So I want to do my read request intercept. I want to move to this space. This doesn't cost me any movement points, but again, I have to initiate the move action by spending at least one of those. What is it? Information commands, right? So I will move here but I will take those two replicants with me. Now I have more replicants than I do have sparks on that partition and this allows me to do a modify action. So I need to spend at least one yellow command like so. And now I can define the color in which I want to modify this spark into. I have still one point left, so I could modify it into a yellow one, but I need a red one because of the excess shutdown or the shutdown protocol. So I will also play this card again. I'm overspending like crazy. So I want to transform this spark into a red spark or a virus in this case. So overall, I'm relatively happy with as there is still a lot going on on my home server, Salvation up there, I think I want to push those replicants down here adjacent so I can basically do this shift action twice in this case. Right now that's still okay. Again, those guys will battle me at the end of the cycle and I still have one more round to go. But last but not least, I think I want to use my movement command. I will take the virus here with me. So in theory, I have now fulfilled the access shutdown um, objective or countermeasure card, right? That's the term, but I will definitely lose at, t at least two more viruses this cycle at the end of every turn. So I'm not, let's say, in safety at this point in time. But still, I have one more card left, but I think I want to hold on to this. So let's simply draw our remaining one, two, three, four, and five cards. So I think we should be good. And now we are at the end of the round, and therefore I have to follow the shutdown protocol. So I have to remove one virus from the network, and I will totally go for this one. Okie dokie, I think that's it in respect to the end of turn there are st or spider will not kick in or spider's ability will not kick in so let's move into the final round of this cycle we can draw two or we have to draw two more cards for the hack shack mm. Mm -hmm. This is okay, but not great. The ginger cool here. Interrupt. After any spark roll to instead change the face of one of the spark dice to whatever you decide. Okay, this can be helpful in theory, maybe for the final round, but I think I will not be able to afford this, if I'm not mistaken. But I will check my hand. Of course, we still have to roll the spark die again. We will see another spark. And now I noticed this guy shouldn't be here, to be honest. There should be a spark on that. I think this sneaked into the <laughs> bowl of sparks. So nevertheless, we have to place one more spark onto uh, freedom here. But of course, we have to continue rolling. 
And in this case, we have to place our first spark on virtue. I think right now that's really not a problem. Okay, I think I have a plan. So first of all, I will initiate a move action. So I will move down here. I still need one more virus. I have to keep this virus where it is, apparently. And I need one because I will lose another one at the end of this turn. So again, I will use my modify action. This time I will modify this spark here into a replicant. In theory, I could now upgrade or install, I think it's install command, right? And exchange those three replicants into a replicator. So one of those guys. But I think I have to do something else, unfortunately. So I will play this card here, the duality, and will again use the execute command to instead flip one contaminant on your partition to the other side. So I will flip this guy here. This now means that I have the virus I need, the virus that I will lose at the end of the turn. Okay, let's, oops, clean up the board a little bit. Those were all here. Then I will use this memory steel here. I will use the leadership to initiate another move action. So I will move there to number one in this case. And I think then I want to do an in fact action. So I want to get rid of this one, but I will use the emit EMP because when I use this as part of an in fact action and I succeed, I can delete all sparks from one partition adjacent to you. So right now that's only this one here. And as I cannot really use this card, I will definitely also overpay. So that's four plus my two, which I always have. That's six plus this one, though that's seven in total. And now I really don't think there is chance for this spark here, but I will roll the die anyway, just because I love rolling dice, even so I suck at it usually. So, but that's definitely good enough for against the one. We know the drill. We can remove all sparks from my partition. That's the normal infect result pretty much. But as I played this EMP, I'm also allowed to remove all sparks from an adjacent partition. So in this case, I will remove this spark here from partition number three of freedom. Okay, well, that's again the end of the round, which means I have to remove one virus from the network. I will totally go for this one. It served me well, that's for sure. Again, we go into the sparks battle step, but right now there aren't any partitions that are kind of endangered. I'm not going to lose any of my contaminants, which is definitely a good thing. So we can check if we have fulfilled our goal here, have at least one virus on each renegade access point. Right now I'm only one renegade. There is a virus on my access point. So I have completed this second countermeasure. What does the success say? At one spark to each renegade's access point. Okay, that's not that bad because if you would check the fail result at two sparks to every partition where one or more avatars are located. So in this case, yeah, pretty much it. I'm alone. So that's two but definitely worse than the success result here. She's failing. I think we have survived her access shutdown and should be okay from here. But nevertheless, let's place the spark accordingly. And again, I'm allowed to keep this countermeasure card as a trophy. So in total, that's already 50 victory points. We are nowhere close to something that's really worth mentioning. But okay, let's jump into the final cycle. And here we see the deception backlash. So this is our golden countermeasure card. And this is a particularly bad one, especially when playing against Spider. Our goal is to clear every server's partition one and two of all countermeasures. So that's true for sparks or guardians. The problem is, as you may have noticed, <laughs> Spider will directly focus on those lowest ranking partitions, so one and two in most cases. So this is really, really a tough one to beat. And there is a backlash here during your end of turn step. Lower the sparks in your home server by one towards its lowest numbered partition. This is not true for all of the sparks. It's on my home server being salvation here. So this is definitely one of those countermeasure cards where I don't have high hopes, to be honest. But let's wait and see. Let's restock the Hack Shack Sidekick. That's a good one. That's really a good one. 
project that's also a good one wow two leadership and this is also great wow they should have shown up way earlier but maybe i can still use them during the third cycle for spider we have to roll that sparks die three times now so that's the first one going to freedom number two that's faith and last but not least let's roll it a third time and again we will see another spark here on salvation the problem now is as per our countermeasure card we have to get rid of all of those sparks which are currently located here on one two one two one two so a hell of a lot of those sparks and i only have three rounds to take care of those and at the end of each round yeah or at the start of each round we will see three more of those showing up so I really don't have a chance, I think. I certainly would have if I've paid more attention to those sparks basically at the start of the game. So I really allowed them to show up. But yeah, that's how things go. And I think the first thing that I want to do is to buy this sidekick or acquire the sidekick here. It's relatively cheap. I only need to spend this card here. So it discarded or trashed. And this gives me two of those destruction commands or i could execute to instant delete one spark on your partition or an adjacent partition so this can really help me achieving my goal to be honest so let's grab this card keep in mind it goes right into my hand okay that's really a tough one i really don't have the proper cards with me and this totally totally sucks to be honest okay so i will play this card for movement command originally i was really thinking of shifting this guy away but i really need the movement at this point in time so i will move here now i'm on this data highway so i think i will move over here to partition number three there i think i want to use my sidekick here this allows me to instead delete one spark on your partition or an adjacent partition and i really have to start getting rid of those guys here and i really don't have the proper cards so let's get rid of that spark of course if i'm not rolling a purple die again then everything is back where everything started and now i have to start uploading additional viruses so i will play those two cards here for three of those symbols i think destruction commands and i will upload another virus that's already the end of my turn of my round pretty much so we have the diversion here i cannot use it right away so i will hold on to that for the next round two three four and five Poof, man not sure if i can do something with that then we do the end of round effect as per our card as power countermeasure card so six will go down to five five will go down to four one stays where it is as far as i can remember and on top of this we have to spawn an additional spark to our home partition so to our access point wow this really sucks and <laughs> i still don't have a clue how to deal with that let's move into the second round of this cycle we will refill the hack shack a crappy card that's for sure i think we still don't have spider's ability triggering nope but of course we still have to roll this spark guy three times okay that's a white which means the server where i'm currently located so that's my home server right now it has to go on to two oh, man. okay now those two guys they are a problem because they are now no they're not okay here is still one more okay but still i have to roll that die here two more times that's the yellow server also known as virtue one more time and again the red one. Oh man i hate this because this guy will definitely slide down to partition two at the end of this turn or this round wow and now i'm also endangered that i will lose a lot of contaminants because they're now pretty much all in circles so those guys are encircled those guys here are encircled those are okay those two but pool man so i think i have to yeah i have to fight this guy here this is really right now the problematic guy yeah let's do that so i have this one command here the destruction command this is one plus my two plus one here that's four in total versus one so let's hope for the best 
yes that's good enough to destroy destroy or to delete this spark i think this was really important i really analyzed my situation and phew, i think there is really no way i can do that I could use remote commands and shift them, remote shift them, but the problem is those green, um, what are they called, uplinks here are also in the wrong position at this point in time. It's cool that I have them, but maybe I'm not really experienced enough yet to fully <laughs> solve the situation. So I think I will do damage control now. I will use this command here and I think I want to move to this location for now, which is fine. Then I will use another in fact action and with this I can also delete a virus that's a J or a spark that's adjacent to me if I am successful. Though here I have two commands plus two of course I have to take this virus here with me. So that's two plus two that's four plus one that's five versus one. So let's roll those dice again. Yeah, not a problem again. So I get rid of this one and I can also get rid of one of those adjacent ones. At least now my home server is clear the partitions one and two. Not sure if this really will make a difference, but I have to start somewhere. I think I will continue my journey and will yeah, do the best that I can. Huh, and what is that? I want I don't want to lose I think that that's the most important thing so I think let's try to get rid of some more of those uh, sparks down there so I will initiate a move action here with this data shift so this allows me to move this is one space this is zero that's the second space and here of course I will take my replicants with me and there I will simply do a modify action so one yellow and I will this spark with another yellow replicate or replicant that's this card and I think I still have this card here with me no I think I keep that no I think I keep that let's call it around for now because there is still something I can do with the remaining card here I could still travel along and take those guys with me and those definitely help me to get rid of those sparks so let's draw our final set of cards. Okay, now we get some movement commands and one of those cognition commands, the green one. So I may be able to do something with those. But of course we have to start shifting. Those guys go here, this guy goes there, this guy goes down there and we will spawn an additional spark here. And now I'm in a situation where I'm not entirely sure about the timing because all of those two cards or both of those cards refer to the end of turn step and the rules are not really clear if you do whatever this first or that first if they happen sim simultaneously because now I have the situation where this guy here is encircled by sparks. Not sure what happened first, if you would check first or if you would do that first, but I will play it as mean as possible, so I don't want to be called a cheater here. So I will now remove those two uplinks. I may be doing that wrong, but not so sure if I will need those contaminants anyway during this round or during this video. And then we start our very last round. I don't have to restock the hack shack. There are still four cards available, but I have to roll the spark die three times. That's another spark on faith. Let's continue rolling a second time. That's freedom again, which is fine. And last but not least, we will see another spark here on Virtue, the one that we just got rid of. Okay, again, we only can do firefighting. So I will use the duality one more time and I will use the ore effect here. So I will flip this contaminant to the other side. And this pretty much allows me to initiate an in fact action, which I will do again, one plus two, that's three plus one, it's four against this one here. And wow, okay, this is now tough. That's four plus one, that's five. And one plus four, that's not enough. Oh, you must be kidding me. Wow, finally it hit me. So I have to get rid of one of my contaminants or the virus that was part of it. Let me do the math one more time. No, everything is correct. That's fine, oh man, okay. 
Ah, uh, okay. This may change stuff, but yeah, let's see. So again, I will use this diversion to transform this guy into one of those replicants here. So at least I got rid of one of those sparks here, but I think that's really pretty much it. So I think I will play this data scan here. I will use the leadership to transform those guys. So I do an install action to exchange those three guys into a replicator. At least I'm doing something that's one victory point in the end. And I think apart from that, yeah, there's really not much I can do. Really sucks, but I cannot help it. So I will use this read rec, rec request intercept so I can move two spaces. So I will move whatever one, two spaces here. I will use my focus action and whatever will push this guy down. So at least another of those two partitions is now empty and yeah that's pretty much the end of the round again i will do the countermeasure card first like i did before not really sure if it matters so i think this guy will go there 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 and this guy will go there i think i should have done it in the other way but here it really doesn't matter but what does matter is that I will lose this here because it's also completely encirculated by sparks. But a lot more will happen this end of or this sparks battle step. Finally, we will see some action at least. So we will jump into the sparks battle step now. So they have to fight wherever one of those viruses is present, but I cannot play any more cards. So it's basically one against one in this here. And I will start here for sure. Oh, come on, you must be kidding me. Okay, this guy has lost really a pity. Let's do the same up there. Oh man, now really start rolling like I'm used to. Okay, this virus is gone too, but this also means that we will lose this guy here too. And the same is true for that guy. Now we check the back of this card here. I think we have to flip it this way. She's seizing an opportunity of her own making to crush your replicators. Add one spark to the access point of every server that has no replicator. Add, well, okay, well, add three sparks to every partition that has a replicator on it. Okay, wow. Now things really start to get ugly, to be honest. So this one doesn't have a replicator. This one doesn't have a replicator. This one doesn't have a replicator. And this one doesn't have a replicator. This server does have a replicator. And then we have to add three sparks to every partition that has a replicator. Okay, here it's only the partition that has a replicator. Wow. I was really concerned for a second. Nothing else would happen, but of course this will somewhat influence our score, that's for sure, because we nearly ran out of those sparks. We are doing okay. The problem is those three sparks will now transform into a guardian. And this is also not a good thing. Because the instant a guardian is formed or created on a partition, it deletes all contaminants or installations. So I just got rid of this guy here and I also lost an additional five victory points. Wow, this really sucks. Good thing is there won't be any move steps. So things could have been even worse right now. But I think that's really the end of this countermeasure phase. We don't do a refresh phase because this is now game over. So we will now tally up our score. This is kind of a victory. I really don't feel like it to be a victory. Look at all those sparks on the board. But overall, things could have gone much worse. So let's have a look at the winning score. We get one victory point per complete set of five spark tokens in the stock. So here are five spark tokens. I think we have two more. I found one. This was still on the table, but overall we ended up with seven of those. So that's our first victory point. Hooray! We get one victory point per installation token on the network. We just lost our one and only installation token. So that's zero. Then we get five victory points for guardian tokens still in the stock. Right now we have four guardian tokens still in the stock, so that's 20 victory points. So overall, that's okay. And then we get 25 victory points per security level. 
we got four completings of pretty much 25 victory points per car. That's 50 more points. So in total, that's 71 points. So yeah, we may consider this as a solid victory. Judge for yourself. It really doesn't feel like a victory for me, but overall, I was definitely able to survive this and really things really look pretty grim. Let me show you that. I really hope you enjoyed my little solo playthrough of Renegade, designed by Richard Wilkins. Keep in mind, it's currently on Kickstarter, so check out the campaign, grab yourself a copy. I really enjoy this game a big deal. I played it quite often so far, even so I kind of sucked during the last cycle here, but really this combination of Spider and this particular countermeasure card is a very tough one, to be honest, but still, I enjoyed it a big time. Hope to see you soon in one of my other videos and yeah, until then, bye bye.